good afternoon so today is monday and i have a um bank appointment so i went last week but i could not open my account but they've asked me to come today by two o'clock it's past one now and i'm going myself my husband had to go to work so i had to figure out <laughs> using the metro myself and the bus because about i think a metro and a bus to get to the bank the particular one so yeah i'll take you guys along with me wish me luck <laughs> I hope everything goes well. I'll just you know, carry you guys along and see how I figure out using the public transport myself for the first time in my trip. Hey guys, so I just got back home now. If I tell you that. <laughs> that's why i went to um cibc to open my accounts right and i opened it because my husband has the same account yes so don't judge me i'm copy copy i just feel like if you want to do anything it's going to be easier for us to have the same account and that's what i thought but i'm really exhausted um so we i went there this afternoon appointment for two o'clock and um when i got there they started the whole process you know, did everything, everything. Then he got to a credit card. He said that I'm not eligible, and I'm like, wait, what? Why am I not eligible? And they said that, and um, because I'm still new in Canada, and I'm like, it doesn't make sense. My husband too was new when he opened his account, and he got a credit card. Like, it doesn't make sense. So I asked them because I mean, I still have some. I have um two active credit cards in the UK. So I literally, I thought it was because of them, but then again. I mean, those accounts, I really don't want to close them because one is an Amex and the other one is, I um, can't remember, there are two of them. So, I don't use them, but like, I have the Amex, I use that one because of points. When you get that points, you know, travel and things like that. So, I just did not want to close it. So, I was like, but if I have to close it because, I mean, it's kind of that I want to be living, right? It's not the UK. So, whatever credit I gather in the UK is not going to impact me in Canada. So I was like, do you need me to close that one? Is it because of I have a lot of um i have i have a what's the credit limit like a large one on those two cards or so like no 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 no. it has nothing to do with those ones so i said okay so what it's what's the problem exactly it's like because i'm pretty i'm pretty new in canada and i'm like how am i supposed to build credit in this country if i don't have a credit card do you understand so i'm kind of upset my husband says he needs to just ask his friends that they all, their wives are here and see if they got credit cards and the banks they use. Maybe I'll just go and put another bank account and not use the CIBC. So, yeah, that's how I went. You know, allow me to have open credit card or credit account here. So it's fine. It's fine. I'm not upset. I just feel like, you know, having to live in this country, it's very important to build your credits from the very get-go. So whatever it is I have in the UK does not impact me here. But well, yeah, guys, it seems as though I might be ranting a lot to you people. So we ordered our bed, not the mattress, like the bed frame since last week. That's like the third day or my second day in Canada. Today is like this is seven days after, and we still have not received it. Now, what is even pissing into them? What is making me so upset is the fact that the seller has sent it over since, like since, but just the delivery people refused to bring it the first time they 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 said they came and no one was around i was at home i've been at home i have a job so i'm at home right and they didn't come and knock they didn't come and do anything now there's construction going up in my building so there's all these people outside right so i don't know what happened they just said and they didn't even tell us they were coming they just my husband just got an update saying that oh um they cannot send they came and no one picked it up yeah 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 fine so that was on tuesday so tuesday i'll be wednesday I think Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, okay. I think Wednesday, yeah. Thursday, Friday, nothing. They said they're going to deliver it today. Now, today they said they were going to deliver it between 9 30 and 11 30. Around past 10, they changed it from that to between 10 30 to 12 p.m., 12 40 p.m. I didn't sleep. I was staying, I was looking for them. When it was 12 40, no updates, nothing, nothing. I had to go to the bank, right? I was still in my area till like 1 30. In fact, I saw you. Um, is ups so whatever i saw a ups van coming and when i saw it i literally was almost chasing after it and i realized i was going to another street then 10 minutes later 
because from my house to the bank was about 10 it's about 10 minutes by bus 10 minutes later but i said he got a message saying that it was refused so they brought the item and it was refused how Mazda already signed is that if whenever they come and they knock at the door no one is around they should put it in front of the house because they assigned it already so whatever happens is our responsibility did he just say it was refused how would it somebody be refused like i'm so upset because now how much has been on the bed scene on the floor since and it's so uncomfortable like he's it's just a lot of things happening but anyway i'm happy my couch is here i still don't have my credit card issue <laughs> but it is fine it's fine we do got the glory yeah but i'll keep ranting to you guys anything that will just come to you canada has been stressing me out too much even from the first day i landed but I think we just need to pray about it because that's not what God promised me. So, yeah. Anyway, I want to think about what we're going to eat tonight because our food has not arrived from Nigeria still. The only thing we have here is pasta, rice, some spaghetti, bread, beans. Even the beans have is white beans. It's not the normal brown beans because there's a lot of beans coming from Nigeria. I'm tired. Oh, God, guys. Anyway, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Hey guys, good morning. So today is Tuesday and I am going out. So I'm going to my husband's workplace today. So I'm working there today. It's always, always only me at home. So I said that, you know what, let me just go and work with him today. I have a lot of videos to edit, a lot of work to do on my laptop. So yeah, I will see you guys. I'll take you guys along with me. I record as much as I can. Um, yeah, see you guys later. You don't care what you're doing to me. I've been down in the ruins so deep All the games that you play All the love you've forsaken You let it slip away Oh, 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 oh. You don't care what you're doing to me Every setback, every mishap Every time you say you gon' change Say you get it, you regret it I forgive it, but you stay the same you should cry an ocean for me For the dumb shit and the damage you've done Cause I've been crying oceans too. Hey guys, good afternoon Um, I still don't have a tripod Like, I'm going to order one today So I'm literally using my hand as my phone stand Anyway, so today is Friday, two weeks since I moved to Canada And so far it's been like really nice i mean i've not really done a lot of things like i've been at home most of the time or just gone to the mall um to the shop to get food and some things for the house but i mean i think that's what's settling in until so the first two weeks has it has been very productive by the grace of god i've been applying to jobs i've been just trying to relax and all of that but one thing that's kind of stopped me from doing a lot of a lot more things is internet so my house is a new build i think i've said it a few times so um basically a lot of constructions like still going out although they're rounding up now i'm sure like in like in about two weeks it should be done by the end of the month i think it should be completely done but one thing we, we struggled with was internet so on the first day when i first came here my husband already like booked for the internet guys to come and fix the internet but they couldn't come um they came but they couldn't get it done because um there's some wiring works that's supposed to have been done and we could not just you know get it done so um we had to wait when the construction guys sorted that out which they did last week but we couldn't get an appointment until today so finally the guy came today and he, he's sorting it out now my husband is with him and hopefully um today we would have internet at home and i can start editing the vlogs and you know just putting things out there for you guys um so i'm excited for that another thing is since i've been in canada you guys like my skin has not been skinning at all like I have pimples especially in this my jaw area i don't know if i'm reacting to the water or adjusting my body is like plus again when i was back in the uk obviously i had like lots of skincare products like my moisture what they call it my cleanser face wash face scrub all of those things i had to drop them because i didn't really have the space to carry them and i realized i could actually get replacements here so it didn't make any sense for me to carry so i just dropped it back the only thing i've been using is just my face to now um niacinamide and moisturizer and something else i can't remember so those four things are the things i've been using and i feel like my skin is not really accepting everything completely so i just really hope that once all of these things at home are sorted out then we can actually move to 
other like important things like going to i want to go to sephora to actually get skincare products but i want the major things in the house to get sorted out so i can you know go out and you know comfortably buy the things that i need for myself but yeah you guys it's been good Canada is really expensive you guys you guys didn't tell me <laughs> expensive <laughs> i mean i shouldn't be complaining because i come from the uk or whatever but still guy uh -uh. anyway i have a lot of i think i'll probably do a video once i'm a bit more settled here maybe like a couple of weeks from now just make a comparison of maybe i'm still new i shouldn't see but i'll say that i mean so far and again you guys by the grace of god the same as though my food our food from nigeria is coming tomorrow my mom called the people that we sent it through in nigeria and they said that by tomorrow also the guy the connects the contacts we have here in canada said i'll show her by weekend so that's tomorrow it's been three weeks guys i have a lot of food items i just pretty don't spoil it, but i'll keep you guys updated if anything changes tomorrow or if, if it comes through tomorrow by god's grace and yeah i will talk to you guys later <laughs> we have wi-fi <laughs> Finally, I'm so excited. Now I can actually leave very well. I'll show you guys now. So yeah, we just got the Wi-Fi installed and yay! <laughs> guys, so we're going to church this morning and I'm excited. I've been to church for like two weeks now. Here in the waiting Wandering and fading I know there is something more than this I think I am ready for doing some changing, oh God Guys, so that is so sunny and I didn't bring my sunshades or my regular glasses Now the sun is burning my eyes I literally think that I have sunscreen on But I don't know how I forgot my sunshades so now I have to just go around with my eyes partially closed when I'm walking and it's like, I don't know. Anyway, Sha, we're leaving to the African shop right very soon and then we go to the back and to go back home. And yeah, so that's it was okay. It was a nice experience. Honestly, I probably would do probably would come a couple times because it's, I mean, it's not too far. So... We just got home, but this is like past 5 p.m. and we are just getting up right now. We need to cook, and I don't know, I don't think I can really do it. Any grocery or maybe I'll try, maybe I can put it together. I'll just show you guys because it's a whole lot of stuff we got today, and I'm just so tired. I have to cook now, so hey guys. Um, let me see if it's very clear. I just really hope you guys can see me. So, we just got home and I'm just showing all of the things that we got. Oh my god. Oh, it was a very long day. But time goes over. So we got this crate of eggs. The 30 crate of eggs. I'll put everything in the fridge. Okay? Yes. Oh. Then we got chicken. Apparently, when we got to Walmart, they didn't have any of the chicken again, like the bigger size. So we just got this one. It's like a, a couple of drumsticks and chicken thigh. We got milk, just one pack because we have one already. Let me just arrange it. We got bread, that's first already. Uh, bread, we still have bagels, I think that's fine. We got some fries, put that in the freezer. We got some orange juice. Also got this chocolate milk. My husband really likes it, so but it's really nice actually. So I mean, we drink that milk. Aside from regular milk. Um, oh. Okay, so I 
got some spices, some ginger powder, cayenne pepper, onion powder, and garlic powder. Oh yeah, but I'm almost finished. Oh, yeah. Got some bouncy chocolate. Have this one so that you have to your body. We still have not found Nigerian in Nigerian um African shop, so we I don't know. Alright. Finding noodles is quite hard. So we just got some from Walmart. I'm going to try it for the first time. If it's nice, it's good. If it's not, I will not buy it again. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I this Can this yeah, we got this hot chocolate from Tim Hortons, like not from Tim Hortons, Tim Hortons hot chocolate. Oh, I'm sure it's nice. I've um, got some ice cream. <laughs> no, I see I'm trying to lose weight, but I'm very tired. I don't kill myself. Then an extra pack of orange juice. So that is all in this first bag. The second is from Walmart. I just I think I'll just do everything. Walmart was in the other shops. So we got um, a spare bed sheet, white sheet. Got two packs of Pringles. Let me just pop this one in there. Two packs of Pringles. Um got some kitchen towel. Some dishwasher tablets. Yeah, because we just I think you guys know we got our dishwasher fixed, so yeah, that's good. Some cleaning supplies for the bathroom. Serviettes for when we are eating. And pineapple juice because it's the best. Pop that in the fridge also. And uh, oh yeah, I got this spatula for frying stuff so usually i use this one i think it's already like this silicone one i don't want to spoil it so i'm going to be using this one now when i'm frying stuff so that's that for walmart so the next thing i will show you guys oh it's not something for walmart actually it's still one more thing i got this plastic so that i can put food in my mouth to work then we went to this um mache I can't remember, I'll put the name somewhere. So it's like a, an Asian store where we buy lots of stuff. So I got some okra, got some pepper, got goat meat, got spinach. So I want to make the table soup today. Got some more pepper and got some beef. <laughs> so apparently they don't used to cut this particular beef. So we just cut it ourselves. Then I got some mackerel fish. That's type of fish. Oops. Um. Oh. And then I got some more um, scotch bonnets. We have some at home, but it's never too much. I'm a Yoruba girl. My husband also loves pepper, so yeah. Then I got this magister. You guys, I think I was telling you people that I thought might come this weekend. The food did not come. In fact, I don't know when it's going to come. So I need to, I had to just buy some Nigerian stuff. So that's all for that particular market or store. And the last bag that here was from this local market. So it's called, I think it's Mache Cordonnes. God, the French is bad. But it's a market in that Cordonnes area. So we just stopped by and we got. So I got this bell pepper, four of them for. Three ninety nine, which is like a good one. Got this bag for I think two ninety nine. So these five green peppers, bell peppers for two ninety nine. Then um, I got this bag of tomatoes for I think it was like two dollars for something. So I got two. I think it was about four or five dollars. I can't remember. And it's cheaper than that from Walmart, so I just got this one. And I think, yeah, and I got this bag of onions. I think it was like two, two dollars, two pounds, two dollars. And yeah, I think that's all for that particular shop or that market. Yeah. Then we stopped at the African shop, which I think I, I probably took it. 
video you guys would have seen so we just got some palm oil because i mean palm oil is not from nigeria but we don't know what it's going to get here so we can't be waiting got some more not the fan but i mean since we have other swallow coming this will work for now then got some turkey wings anyone that knows me personally knows i love turkey wings so got this one i don't know what they do is to cut it anyway shall we cut it also and then got some i hope it's more baby it's for more baby it's for more this is for more this got for more i have to wash it i don't think we can eat it today i have to wait to see and we got some plantain, just got five plantains. And that's all. So we got a lot of things. And I feel that we don't really have to go to the shop for anything for the next, I don't know, except when Nigerian food come and there's maybe extra, but I don't think it's really anything we need to buy. So I'm happy that we got everything. And I'm going to cook now. I think that's how I'm going to be ending this particular one. I don't know if I'm going to record anything again. But yeah, I just thought I'd show you guys what I got, or what we got from the shop today. It was a long day. But it's time to cook, so I want to make a furry roll with my spinach and uh, semo. Mm -hmm.